Hi, this is, will be our second tutorial discussing uh, staircase in Revit 2000, Revit Architectural 2013. Uh, actually, we are in level one, as you can see, and uh, we want to start drawing uh, a staircase that it will go from level one up to level, uh, level four. So uh, uh, the treatment will be a little bit different over here. We will start with uh, drawing uh, work plane reference planes, which will help us actually specify where is our starting uh, point, where should we stop for the first run, then when, where should we start for the second run, and where we will end in for the second uh, run, with the landing in uh, between. Uh, so what we will do is we'll start a reference plane as our command. We will uh, uh, use pick lines. Since our staircase will be 1,200 millimeters, this is 1.2 meter uh, uh, in width. So what we want to do is to draw a, uh, a reference plane with a 600. So we will know the center point of the staircase. So what we will do is a 600 and then we will pick from this side and from this side. Uh, for the landing, where should it start? We will use the 1200, so we will know exactly where it is. So this is where we will start and we will, we, where will we, we finish, but the starting point still is ambiguous here. So we will, we will take a 4,000, so four meter from, uh, the uh, uh, face of the wall. So uh, this will help us now specify, this is gonna be the start point. This is where the first run will will uh, finish and this is where the second run will start and this is where it will finish. So we will start with stair by component. Make sure that run is there. Select cast and place stair, monolithic staircase. Then uh, as, a, as a type, then uh, level one and level two. Now, to specify the width of the staircase, you have to go to edit type and you will see it here. Minimum run width is gonna be 1,200. And so that's where we're gonna be. We will start with this. Now, once we click, we go up, the same uh, uh, message will be shown. That's risers created 20 remaining and up until we reach to this point. That's 11 risers and 12 is remaining. We'll click. This is the end of our first one. Click again. Now you can see that there will be a zero remaining. There we will stop. I would like just to indicate the small numbers over here just to help you identify where are you right now. It's in the first. This is the first. This is the 11th and this is the 12th and this is the 23rd. So we will know exactly where each one of these will start and uh, finish. Now, stairs by component uh, is actually a new feature in uh, 2013. Will allow you to pick each part separately and hence help you to uh, change anything that you want. For instance, I can change the width of each run if I want to, but if you can see that this actually has changed because it had to accommodate the new width that uh, 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 we input. So let's try to do this. Can we change this to here? We cannot because this will not help us do uh, uh, the right width for each one. We will undo all the three things, okay. And now we will get back to the same thing goes here. We'll select 900 pipes on the treats and we'll say okay then we will finish this command like this the row the rail is non-continuous okay no problem we will look at it later now we can go to the east maybe we messed up because we messed up with it uh, we will go to the east and we will look at it this is how the staircase will look uh, alike and if we go to the 3d view we will look at it like this now as you can see we can now control the railing now if we pick this railing because it's going to be on the wall the wall will protect it 
So what we can do, we'll, we'll uh, click on this, then uh, pick uh, another one if we want to, like 900 millimeter, and it's totally different. Or we can uh, use uh, uh, a 1,000 meter. So you can see that we can pick and choose between each and every part of uh, uh, this uh, uh, stair uh, case without uh, having any problem with it. And that would help us actually to uh, develop it in, in our way. Now, what we can do as well, uh, we can go here and in here, multi-story top level. Instead of putting none, we will simply put the level number four. And you can see it has been repeated to the to the uh, uh, level four as we wish. Uh, also, if you go to the floor plans and you check the second floor, you will see it. And in the third floor, you will see it. All of the hidden lines of the other stuff will be shown as you wish. So what we can do right now is, you know, erasing the uh, reference lines. That would help us uh, yeah, develop the stair case. Let's look, have a look, uh, a third look on the 3D view, which is here. And you can see that this is the staircase that we want for multi-story uh, building. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you.